Hello YouTubers. I uh, finally got around to doing an update video on my parts washer. Um, I haven't used it very much yet because I have to go get a speed control. I saw on another video on YouTube the way you control this contraption is with a router speed control. You can buy them at Harbor Freight. I think they're I don't think they're over twenty dollars. But I need to run by there and get a speed control because basically what I've done is I've mounted a quarter sheet, sorry, a quarter sheet hand palm sander, whatever you want to call it, to the side of my box with a white plastic, uh, what would you call that? cutting board behind it with washers and silicone and all that good stuff so that you can uh, keep it from pulling through because trust me this thing without speed control is ridiculous like this thing literally I'm going to turn it on for just a second I want to show you guys how bad it agitates <laughs> quite enough uh, liquid in there and you didn't put your top down because this top does kind of lock down with those little red locks so I can keep it from making too big of a mess excuse me I can make it uh, or make it run with the right level of liquid in it with the lid shut it doesn't get all over everything but I just wanted to give you guys an example of how violently it agitates that water or coolant or I'm sorry cleaning solution that's purple power and water that's in there now but it literally just foams it up horribly because I don't have enough in there so I just wanted to do a follow-up video on my I think we were calling it sonic vibration <laughs> parts cleaner which is basically just a plastic vessel, you know, a quarter sheet sander bolted to it that transmits a just tremendous amount of vibration through the cleaning liquid. Um, like I said, uh, I think in previous videos, I've seen people use diesel fuel, which is kind of scary when you start talking about getting it real close to the electricity of the palm sander. Um, I'm currently using purple power and water which does need to be cycled out at some point because I've already cleaned a set of cylinder heads in here before. But uh, I threw these little LS parts in here to let them soak and kind of run them a little bit. But I realized I need that control mechanism to control the speed of the actual vibration. And I need to get some more cleaner to add to the tank so that I can submerge all my parts and, and yeah, leave them in there probably 30 minutes to an hour. I would imagine would do a really good cleaning job if it was a fresh solution of, uh, you know, fresh cleaning solution with the vibration or agitation of the sander. So anyway, that's what I've got going as far as my parts cleaner. Um, results pending on how well it's gonna work or not. But I realized that I'd never done a video after assembly. So there you have it. My Sonic, you know, I'm going to call it Sonic Parts Washer for lack of a better term. term but it's actually just an agitation that just sends vibrations through the sides of the vessel into the cleaning liquid. And just literally creates bubbles and waves at a really high frequency. So... Anyway, results pending. Hope, wish me luck. Hopefully it worked, cleans the parts really well. Thank you.